everyone the topic we cover today is alcoholism so if you come to this alcoholism you can say that from the ancient time the world wide it was using as this alcohol was using as an intoxication agent so if you come to the definition we can say that the alcoholism it is a pattern of alcohol use that is causing physical and mental changes to health that means after taking this alcohol the person will be getting a certain physical as well as a mental or psychiatric issues and if you come to this alcohol so what is an alcohol it is nothing but it is a central nervous system depressant that means after taking this alcohol initially the person feels that okay my energy is increasing i am getting power everything but later on continuously if he is using it is having a depressive effect on central nervous system and we can say that this alcohol ethyl alcohol or ethanol what we call it is usually obtained from the fermentation process of yeast sugar or starches and there are certain common alcohols or alcohol forms are available for drinking that everyone may be knowing that may be like a wine beer or uh, powerful drinks like vodka rum brandy whiskey or whatever thing it may be so now we'll move to the uh, etiological factors of alcohols so while coming to this etiological factor the of course the first one is a genetic one or hereditary because the alcoholism is having a very much link with the heredity if the parents are using alcohol it is having an effect on the child especially the father and if you come to the psychological factor it may be related to the loss of anyone failures then what we can say if the person is having any uh, severe illnesses or if the, he want to escape from the anxiety or relieving tension they may be going for this alcohol and welcome to the socio cultural factors so the main socio cultural factor is the peer pressure that means if the, with the friendship uh, with the peer group or with the friendship they may be going with the alcohol as an experimentation they will start later on it will be continuing then loss of job poverty low socio economic status all these things are the socio cultural factors of uh, alcoholism we can say and if you come to the epidemiology so everyone knows that the males are using alcohol than the females but it is even the females also using but comparing with the female it is very much common in the males then in india the general population if you observe approximately 25 to 74 percentage of people they are using alcohol now we'll see the uh, percentage of alcohol in the blood level and what are the effect it will be producing and if you see 25 to 100 mg percentage of alcohol it produces the excitement if it is reaching up to 200 mg percentage the person will be developing the severe intoxication reaction then 300 to 350 the person will be developing hypothermia and cold sweat and 300 to 350 to 400 mg percentage it may be developing coma and respiratory arrest or respiratory depression will be developing and it reaches to 400 mg percentage there is a chance for even death also so these are the alcohol levels in the blood and its effect now we'll move to the alcohol use disorders or alcoholism what are the types of disorders are there majorly or broadly it is divided into two alcohol use disorders and alcohol induced disorder if you come to the alcohol use disorder there are two types the alcohol abuse and alcohol dependency and the alcohol induced re, uh, reaction or disorders it may be alcohol intoxication or alcohol withdrawal come to the first one alcohol use disorder alcohol abuse so alcohol abuse is nothing but it is a harmful use of alcohol and it produces certain symptoms and in the alcohol dependency so what happens the person will be using for a long time so the, there is a tolerance will be developing that means a person may need higher dosage and the person will be developing with a craving that means without alcohol he cannot live such a condition will develop and the dependency will be developing in this particular stage come to the next one alcohol induced reaction or disorder the first one is alcohol intoxication so the alcohol intoxication develop with the excess amount of blood in uh, excess amount of alcohol in blood and welcome to the withdrawal symptom the person will be going for a chronic uses and there are certain symptoms will be developing with a complete abstinence or immediately if he stops the alcohol 
So first we'll see the alcohol intoxication. So the alcohol intoxication will be developing within 10 minutes of intake of excess alcohol and the maximum or the peak level will be obtained by 30 to 40 minutes. We'll see what are the symptoms will be developing. So it may be like uh, inappropriate behavior, inappropriate mood, slurred speech, flushing of face, unsteady gait, then decreased attention or concentration, decreased consciousness in higher cases or higher level, it may be coma or death. And another important one, blackout. Blackout is nothing but the person will be having a short term memory loss. Means during the intoxication period, what are the things happened in his life? He will forget that things. Come to the withdrawal symptom. In the withdrawal symptoms, usually it will be developing the complete abstinence. After two to three days, it will be developing. And the main one will be hangover in the next morning. Then it may be tremors, anxiety. The major ones are delirium tremens alcoholic seizures or REM fits what we call, then alcoholic hallucinosis will be developing, especially auditory and tactile hallucination will be developing and the person will be developing with the insomnia. And there are certain complications, there are medical complications and psychiatric complications. In the medical complication, everyone knows what is the main complication, it is the liver cirrhosis or the liver failure. The person will be developing jaundice, hepatitis, peptic ulcer. These are the major one. And apart from this one, there is a multi-system failure or multi-system disorder will be uh, developing in the medical complications of alcoholism. And if it is a pregnant woman, we can expect a fetal alcoholic syndrome in the pregnant woman. Come to the psychiatric complication. So in the psychiatric complication, due to severe thymine deficiency, vitamin B1 deficiency, there is the development of vernix encephalopathy and Koskov syndrome. This is the important psychiatric complication of alcoholism. Now we'll move to the diagnostic evaluation. If you come to the diagnostic evaluation, we can say that psychiatric history collection, mental status examination to rule out the psychiatric, another comorbid psychiatric disorder, and all the blood investigation, you can go for blood levels of alcohol. Come to the management. The main management is hospitalization and detoxification. So the, from the person's blood, the alcohol level will be eliminated through the detoxification. So we are going for a benzodiazepines. Diazepam is the best example of this one. Then we'll go for another drug, chlordiazepoxide. Then if the person is having vitamin deficiency, we'll go for vitamin supplementation. Then IV fluid uh, administration and, and acids you can give to the patient. And another important management for the dependency or we can go for deterrent agent. The best example is the disulfiram. That is one of the important drug we are administering to the alcoholic patient. So today we have seen regarding, apart from this one, we have some other one like uh, psychotherapy, behavior therapy, then uh, family therapy, marital therapy, uh, these are the another important uh, therapy we are at, uh, giving to the or providing to the alcohol patient. So today we have seen regarding what is an alcoholism, what are the epidemiology, what are the uh, symptoms, diagnosis and management. So that is all for uh, today's uh, class. This is Vishan signing off till we meet the next class. Thank you.